You may have deep intuition, clairvoyance, clairaudience. Um, if you've been feeling less than recently, you know, afraid to walk in your power, this is a clear divine message that you possess all of the qualities to move forward in this venture, in this matter of love. Welcome, Aries, to your weekly love tarot reading. I am Black Bunny Tarot, aka Namaste with Lei. And I am very much looking forward to diving into these messages from spirit to you today. Now, because today is a full moon, this marks a beautiful time. This marks a beautiful time to set your intentions for what you're wishing to manifest over the next couple of weeks until the full moon. Go ahead, affirm it in the comments below, letting the universe know what it is that you would like to receive. And as I begin to shuffle the decks, you can start to think about your person and or situation. Maybe even going as far as to say their name aloud or write it down on a piece of paper. Getting very clear, once again, with the universe about the messages that you're wishing to receive. All right. It would not be right to not first. <sighs> Tap that heart chakra frequency to commence your love tarot reading. Spirit, please show my fiery Aries what it is that they need to see. Please show my determined, feisty, confident Aries what it is that they need to see. All right, none flew out. Let's take two from the top. <laughs> Whoa, one from the bottom. All right then, you're, whew. Okay, Aries, let's hop right into this. Let me remind you that this is a general love reading. If you would like a reading that is specific to you and your situation, you can find the information to book me in the description box below. So some of you may be dealing with a Leo. We have two major arcana here in your energy, the first being the sun. So when I think of the sun, I think of miracles, of manifestation of things coming to light. Nothing can grow, flourish, survive without the sun. So this is a message from your spirit guides, from your angel, from God, that you are immensely supported at this time. If you've been struggling with fertility, this is a good message from the universe that you are very fertile at this time. Uh, with the sun appearing here, this may be heralding your first child, um, a birth to come. Some of you just celebrated the baby shower and you did it virtually. Congratulations to you. Um, interesting. Some of you watching are in Florida. Hmm. Others of you, your child is going to be a dual citizen. Okay, very cool. Next, we had the Hierophant. So for others, you're dealing with a more grounded, an earth sign. Okay, maybe you're not dealing with your fellow fire sign Leo. You might be dealing with a Taurus here. The Hierophant is like the oracle of the deck. So you, you or your person may be very spiritually enlightened, spiritually woke, okay? You may do tarot readings. You may have deep intuition, clairvoyance, clairaudience. Um, if you've been feeling less than recently, you know, afraid to walk in your power, this is a clear divine message that you possess all of the qualities 
to move forward in this venture, in this matter of love, you have the higher knowledge, whether you're aware of it or not. This is time for you to walk in your truth. Maybe family, friends aren't seeing your vision. They just want you to be stable. So they're not supporting your dreams, your goals at this time, Aries. And it doesn't feel nice. It really doesn't. Um, and you understand that they have your best interest at heart. They're just worried about your financial security. Hmm. Some of you are dating someone from the UK, getting a British accent here. Something about their accent is really spicy and it just turns you on. Go for it, Aries. All right, and then you have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Manifesting. These readings are not gender specific. Um, they're just divine feminine, divine masculine. We all possess both, but right now you're tapping into this divine feminine with the wands here to manifest whatever it is you want. So if you've not already affirmed in the comments below, go ahead and do that now. Now is a beautiful time for you to get clear with the universe about what it is you're trying to manifest in matters of heart and love. Let's dive into your person's energy with the Mystic Mondays deck. And if you're ever interested in any of the decks I use, I always link them below, as well as ways to donate to the channel, which is so appreciated. I cannot tell you how much it means to me. Seriously, no donation is too small. I appreciate all of the support. And if you stick around, we'll be using this Lover's Oracle deck to deliver a message that is specific to your person and situation. Spirit. Please show my Aries, I just saw the Emperor card, your energy, what it is that they need to see. Please show my fiery Aries what it is. All right, none flew out. Let's take two more from the top. Wow. Let me just say here, <clears throat> you and Cancer had um, the Seven of Swords popping out. And I want to say the Three of Wands, I, I think it's actually the Three of Swords, but a couple coincidences here. So maybe some of you are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer. All right, so we have the High Priestess. This is like the match to the Hierophant, okay? Definitely. This person, your love interest, maybe it's just a crush right now, but this person, they're going to match your energy. If you're very into something that is kind of eccentric or niche, expect this person to be into those things too. If you're eating raw vegan, this person has the recipe book for you. If you're trying to get into the gym and hit a certain amount of weights, this person's already doing that. It's almost like this is your twin flame or your soulmate. And I wanna clarify now, just because someone is your soulmate or your twin flame does not mean they have to be a romantic interest. A soulmate twin flame can be a family member, a coworker, someone who you meet and comes into your life for a specific reason or season, not always a lifetime, okay? But this person, you'll know whether it's romantic or not. Some of us are lucky and we get both in one. Um, but this person, they're going to light your pants on fire. I don't even know how to say it. Like, you're going to be bringing out the sexy. If you dress more tomboy, whether you're a man or a woman, if you dress more masculine, this person's going to have you being aware of color coordinating, of showing off your curves or your best features, even if you're a man, okay? This person's third eye is open, just like yours. And then beautifully here, they have the three of wands. So more wands here, more manifestation, and the divine three. Three is a magic number, okay? This is your person heading towards you. They have you on the mind. They see you on the horizon, and they're going to take this venture, this voyage, to get to you. No, no interruptions along the way. No, I wonder if they're into me. No games, okay? This is going to be straight into the point. But there is something here, and here's the Cancer energy with the moon, once again. There is something here, Aries, that has your person on guard. 
maybe you're just leaving a relationship maybe you've just filed for divorce whatever this thing is you will know what it is it'll resonate with you they're just not 100 percent sure that you're ready to commit to them how they're ready to commit to you ball is most definitely in your court aries all right now a special message from the lovers oracle deck and I do urge you, if these messages just aren't resonating whatsoever, please do check your moon and rising signs to see if those readings may better resonate. Spirit, please show my Aries what it is that they need to see. Show my Aries what it is that they need to all right let's see we're gonna take this from the top since none flew out and here's the illustration on the front and on the back it reads power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Oof, powerful mes message. You are in your power as well. Much like Cancer is reading Aries, like this is the time to manifest. I really hope that these messages landed, resonated for you. And if you'd like to dive deeper with that personal private reading, you can find all of that information below, as well as my Patreon account in which I do extended special readings. Beautiful Aries, sending you into the rest of your day, week, month, your year, with all of the success, joy, and peace of mind that you are so deserving of. Namaste.